What is going on, Crimson City? My name is Crimson Seabed, and today of all days, we are here with our Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. I am so excited for this. I have never played, I haven't played 4th Gen since, I mean, if you count Storm Silver, if you count Storm Silver, I haven't actually played through a 4th Gen game since probably my freshman year of high school, and this is going to date me, but that was 2007? 2007? 2000. I think it was 2007, I think it was 2007, but anyways guys, if you guys are excited for a brand new series on the channel, make sure you show all the love in the world to that like button, I want you guys to blow this thing up, I am so excited to actually play through, I've never played through Platinum, I've never played Platinum, outside of once or twice on a live stream maybe, but it was very, we, I think we got a badge maybe, but nothing crazy, I've never played this game in its entirety, so I am so, so, so excited for this, I hope you guys are too, for those of you guys who are new on the channel, my name is Crimson Seabed, you can call me Crimson, you can call me Chase, you can call me Crim, you can call me whatever you want, but guys, without further ado, it is time to get this thing started. There's that Giratina cry. There's that Giratina cry. I did like a little teaser video for this not too long ago, and the thumbnail was just a really big blown up picture of Giratina's face with me on the front of it. And then at the very end of the video that I posted, if you listen very carefully, there's a Giratina cry. So, <clears throat> hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Okay, it was the guy, Professor. I just wanted to make sure. I just wanted to make sure. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I go any further, is this your first adventure? If you need advice, I'm certainly capable of giving it. We do not need any information. We are Pokemon masters over here. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here I have a Pokeball. Touch the button on the middle of the Pokeball, if you'd please. Now, while Rowan continues to talk about the introduction to the game, I will talk with you about what is randomized. All the encounters have been randomized to a 1-1 spectrum, so there are, uh, you will find a finite po in, uh, number of Pokemon within there, but they are completely randomized. You can encounter legendary Pokemon in the wild as well. Static encounters have been randomized, our starters have been randomized as well. Gym leaders, gym trainers, everybody has been randomized, field items have been randomized. Everybody still has, um, impossible evolutions like trade, um, and uh, friendship evolutions and stuff like that have been made easier, so you can just use an item on those uh, Pokemon instead of trading like Gengar to Hunt or Hunter to Gengar. I believe it evolves at like level 37 or something along those lines, but those evolutions are taken care of. So we're going to encounter tons of 4th gen Pokemon that I've never seen just outside of like a 6th gen engine. So I am super excited for this. Are you a boy or a girl? We are a boy. Alright, so you're a boy then. Yes, we are. So tell me, what is your name? My name, good sir, is Crimson, because I cannot have enough characters for my name in 4th gen, on a 4th gen engine. So we are just Crimson today. Your name is Crimson! Yeah, that's what I said, that's what I said, Professor, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, so you're Crimson. A fine name that is, indeed. Now this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? Uh, we need a new name for Arrival, and I asked on Twitter, and nobody, nothing really jumped out at me as far as a, uh, as far as a, uh, a suitable rival goes, so, and he's just your friend, and he's like, you know, you guys are, uh, you guys are friends, you guys are buddies, so, uh, but you guys are still, like, working with each other, so, I'm actually going ahead and call this guy John, after, uh, Pokemon, John aka Pokemon, Pokemon aka John, however you guys know him, I know him as my boy John. He is going to be the rival of this LP, and I hope I do him justice, and I hope I, uh, I hope I'm able to, uh, provide a lifely experience that is impersonating John. John, is it? That's your friend's name? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right, Crimson, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on, leap into the world of Pokemon. It is time, it is time. I'm so excited. I am so excited. Pokemon are by our side, always. I hope you will understand the meaning of those words. That was the comment left by Professor Rowan, who has returned to the Sinnoh, who has returned to Sinnoh from the Kanto region. So Professor Rowan was in Kanto, hanging out with your boy Profoke. That concludes our special program. Let's ask Professor Rowan. 
Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. So, uh, he did... Oh, look, there's John. There you are! Hey, Crimson, did you just see the TV? Sure you did! Professor Rowan's that really important guy who studies Pokemon, right? That means he must have lots and lots of Pokemon. So if we ask him, I bet he'd give us some Pokemon. That's not a bad idea, John. You got you got some got some ideas turning up in here. Oh hey, is this a new PC? Uh where was I? Oh right, right. We're going to go see Professor Rowan and get some Pokemon. I'll be waiting outside. Okay, Crimson, if you're late, I'm finding you ten million. Ten million what? Is that dollars? Is that is that Poke Dollars? Is that the confirmed um, oh, we need to go to... Oh, Mom, come on. I need to go check my PC. I need to go check my in... I need to go check my inbox. <clears throat> <clears throat> Crimson! John already left. I don't know what it was about, but he sure was in a hurry. Th thanks, Mom. He ran out the door saying he was going to find me $10 million. I know he left. I'm fully aware that he left. Pokemon Basics. People live alongside... Blah, 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 blah. Oh, no. Oh, cool. So I have no item in my PC in this game. That's cool. And I have no running shoes either. The X button... Oh, I have no running shoes. X button opens the menu. I'm hitting the X button. I guess I'm not hitting the X button. I don't know. Oh, yes, Crimson. Don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't. So, well, take care, sweetie. So I can just. So you're not gonna. You don't have your own Pokemon, Mom. You're not gonna help me out. You're not gonna. You're not gonna do what is best for your son and give me a Pokemon. Am I correct? Thud. What was that about? Oh, hey, Crimson. Hey, I'm gonna go see Professor Rowan. You should come too and quickly. Okay, John. Whatever you say, bud. Oh, jeez, forgot something. All right. Alright, where there's John's mom. There's Mama John. Pokemon, if you will. Alright. I better take my bag and journal too. Oh hey, Crimson! I'll be waiting on the road. It's a 10 million fine if you're late. I, I you know, I, I'm gonna start finding I'm gonna start finding John 10 million. I'm gonna start finding John 10 million, to be honest. T B H. So this being the starter episode, now I did have people vote for the starter in the comment section of the teaser video, so we can hop right on into this Nuzlocke and start getting some encounters, and I know the starter, but I'm not going to tell you guys if you didn't see the video. Too slow. Alright, let's get moving to Professor Rowan's lab. What? Don't go into the grass, right? No worries, no problem. It doesn't matter that we don't have any Pokemon. Trust me on this one, I've got an idea. Now listen, you know how wild Pokemon jump out when you go into tall grass? So, what you do is, you scoot over to the next pass of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. That's genius. Why didn't anybody ever think of that? If we just keep dashing, we can get to Sanjum Town without running into wild Pokemon. Okay, stick with me. Okay, here it goes. On your marks. HOLD IT! You two don't seem to have any Pokemon between you. Then, what is the meaning of going into the tall grass? Ellipses, ellipses, ellipses. Hey, Crimson, this old guy, it's Professor Rowan, isn't it? What, what's he doing here? He tried to go in the tall grass because they wanted Pokemon. Hmm, what to do? The world would surely change if they were to meet Pokemon. Is it right for me to put that on them? Is it right for me to put them on that path? Ellipses, ellipses, ellipses. You too. You truly love Pokemon, do you? Yes. Me too. I love Pokemon too. I'll ask you once again. You too. You truly love Pokemon, do you? What? You can ask a hundred times. The answer will never change. We'll both answer a hundred times. We love Pokemon. Right, Crimson? I'm, I'm wearing a Pokeball t-shirt. Of course I love Pokemon, John. Pair of reckless kids who foolishly try to enter tall grass without Pokemon of their own? It worries me what people like that would do with Pokemon. Uh, well I, uh, ellipses, ellipses. Well then forget about me, but give a Pokemon to my friend here. I mean, it was me who tried to go into the tall grass and all. How big of you? Very well then. I will entrust you two with Pokemon. I apologize for putting you through that exercise. However, 
You must promise me that you will never recklessly endanger yourselves again. Now then. Hmm, now where? Oh god, I gotta find a Don voice. <clears throat> Professor Rowan! You left your briefcase at the lake! Oh my gosh, it's so high. Oh, is something wrong here? Ah, oh, there it is, Doc. Nice work. What I was about to do was to entrust these two with their own Pokémon. Pardon? Those Pokémon are hard to replace. Are you sure about giving them away? Hmm. We exist side by side with Pokémon. There comes a time when people should meet Pokémon. There's a world that should be explored together. For them, today is that time. The place, right here. Go on, open the briefcase and choose a Pokémon. Really? Professor Rowan, I can't believe it. I'm so happy right now that I can't keep a straight face. Hey, Crimson, you can choose first. Hey, I'm practically a grown-up. I have to show some class here. All right. The time has come. The time has come to select our starter Pokemon. Now, look, there are Pokeballs. There's a Pokemon in each one. Now, choose what Pokemon will it be. There's the Rabbit Pokemon, Buneary. There's the Dark Pokemon, Houndour. And there's the Rock Snake Pokemon, Onix. Now... Coming in, in third place, was Buneri the Rabbit Pokemon. Unfortunately enough, I did I did like Buneri. I also really liked Onyx, but Onyx came in second place, and even though it does have a really bad attack stat, I was really looking forward to it because I wanted to be able to use that Metal Coat and just get a Steelix and just start running shop. But, for, fortunately enough, you guys know my favorite Pokemon is Arcanine. I do get a very close second to my heart. We did manage to get over half the votes for the Dark Pokemon Houndour. We will take Houndour right now. Then I choose you. I'm picking this one. Very well. Both of you have chosen a good Pokemon, it seems. Now listen well. The Pokemon you have been entrusted with are unfamiliar with the world. In that regard, they're much like you. As fellow newcomers to the world, I hope you'll do well together. If you have any trouble, come see me in my lab in Sandrum Town. And now, we'll be on our way. Alright, so we're going to go over to Sandrum Town now. Um, I didn't get to nickname the Houndar. I'm sorry. Please let me pass. Did she not? Did he not give? Did he not give Dawn any sort of Pokemon? He just like gave us all the Pokemon. It's pretty rude of him, to be honest. Tbh. How do you like that? Professor Rowan's really nice. On TV, he seems so stern and scary. Now, what, John, what are you doing? What are you doing shuffling your feet? <laughs> Crimson, we both got Pokemon now. There's only one thing to do, right? Are you up for this? I've always wanted to say this. The time has finally come. It's time. It's time. Crimson, I challenge you to a battle. Please tell me you got the Buneri. Please tell me John got the Buneri. Ranger John. He got a Poliwag, and I got a Houndar. Are you kidding me right now? You gotta be kidding me right now. I have Leer, and I have... Is the is the physical special split in this game? I can't check my Pokemon. I just have to start clicking Ember. And he's got Bubble already. He's got Bubble already. Well, the Nuzlocke does not start until we get Pokeballs, thankfully enough for us. So, even if we lose this match to our rival, it'll be okay. Give me the burn. Nope. Come on, Houndar. Come on. Even if we lose this match to our rival, it will be okay, because the Nuzlocke rules do not apply until we receive our first Pokeballs and able to catch more Pokemon. For those of you guys who don't know the Nuzlocke rules, they will be in the description of this video and I will talk about them right now. So, rule number one, you must nickname every Pokemon you catch, so that way you would create a closer bond with it, which is why I was upset that I was not yet able to nickname my Houndar. Rule number two, you may only catch the first Pokemon in every route you encounter. If you, if you, if you faint it, if you, if it runs away, for whatever reason, if you do not catch that, you get no more encounters for that route. Um, there are two clauses, three clauses, I'm sorry, that we'll be playing by within this LP. We will be playing by the Species Clause, which means uh, my start is a Houndar, and if my first encounter is a Houndoom, that is in the same evolutionary chain. So I am able to re-roll for an encounter necessarily. I can go find another Pokemon to encounter. Uh, the second clause we'll be playing by will be the, I paid out $40, it wasn't $10 million. It wasn't $10 million necessarily. However... Um, the second one is the Dupes Clause. My starter is a Houndour. If I run into another Houndour, that is a speed. That is a Dupes Clause. That is the same Pokemon. Say I encounter Rattata this route, and then two routes from now, I counter another Rattata. That will be a Dupes Clause. 
the shiny claws. If for whatever time I encounter a shiny Pokemon, whether it be during grinding montages or whether it be in-game encounters, random encounters, you are allowed to catch this Pokemon. So, rule number three, after all these claws, is if a Pokemon faints during Nuzlocke rules, it is considered dead for the rest of the playthrough. You are made, you are no longer allowed to use it. You will box it up, as you guys can see right above me. We do have a death counter box. We are at zero still, just because, like I said, Nuzlocke rules have not yet applied. But that battle, it could have gone either way. It was that close. I can tell you one thing. Battling is awesomely fun. Okay, let's go home. I'm beat after that battle. My Pokemon needs rest too. See ya, Crimson. Well, we lost to John, but it's okay. Because we still have... We still, we're still out here living. We're still out here living. What's the matter, dear? Wow, that's what happened to you? You and John are lucky to have met Professor Rowan. Imagine if you didn't. I wouldn't like to think what the wild Pokemon might have done to you two. Crimson, go see Professor Rowan and thank him properly for your Pokemon. His lab is in Sandgem Town, isn't it? Now that you have your own Pokemon, the tall grass won't be so threatening. Oh, I know. Crimson, put these on. <coughs> Baby, let's go. Give me them running shoes. Give me my Nikes. Jeez. Oh my goodness, about time. Going to Sandgem Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Okay, let me read the instructions. Press the B button and dash about faster than ever before. Put on the running shoes and blaze new trails of adventure. Well, isn't that just nifty? Okay. So, um, I'm not ending the episode off here. I am just going to save, though. Because only you can prevent lost save data. So we're going to get a, save a lot of data here. Now that we do have our Hound Hour. And we can... We can definitely go... We can probably get a few encounters this episode. We can get a few encounters for sure. For sure we can do that. This only takes forever to save a lot of data. It's fine. It's fine. There we go. So now we can... Oh boy, we can zip in and out of town. Look at these. Look at these. Tiptoeing in my Jordans. Look at this. I'm running everywhere. Oh, there's John. What is... John, what do you want? Too slow, Crimson. I'm sick of waiting. I'm gonna go see Professor Rowan so I can thank him properly. So, I had this great idea. Listen up, okay? You know that lake where we always play at? You know how they say a legendary Pokemon lives there? You guessed it, let's catch that Pokemon. That'll make Professor Rowan happy, I'm sure of that. Me and you together, we got nothing to fear. Okay, so now we gotta go over here to Lake Verity. Yep, Verity Lakefront. We go over here. All right, we're at the lake. Get ready, because we're capturing that legendary Pokemon. Trust me on this one, it's here. It even says so on the sign. So we do get to go over here. We do need to remember that we can come back here and sneak an encounter early on. flowing time, the expanding space. I'll make it all mine one day. Cyrus is my name. Remember it. Until then, sleep while you can, legendary Pokemon of the lake bed. I want Cyrus's hair. I want Cyrus's hair so bad. Allow me to pass. Step aside. I just want that. I want that spiky blue hair, you know? What was that about? Weird guy. Okay, Crimson. Let's catch that legendary Pokemon. Come on. You heard it. You heard the Mesprit. I heard the Mesprit. We all heard the Mesprit. Did you hear that, Crimson? That was a legendary Pokemon crying. That had to be it. Okay, this is our chance. Let's catch it. W wait. What? We don't have anything on us. You know, Pokeballs. P-O-K accent E balls. If we don't have those, we can't catch Pokemon or take them around with us. Do you think Professor Rowan would give us some if we asked? You know, you remember what he said, don't you? He said to visit him at his lab if we needed anything. Okay, Crimson, I'll race you. First one of the professor's lab in Sandgem Town rules. All right. All right, John. I see what you're doing here. You're not going to find me 10 million this time. Just because you beat me doesn't mean anything. Now, what kind of Pokemon can we find over here is what I'm actually curious about. So this is all still Route 201. We need to remember that before we get encounters. What kind of Pokemon can we find over here? Tell me. Tell me. Okay, you know what? I am going to... Uh, Tell me that's a randomized encounter right now. I will cry. I will ab I will absolutely cry. What else can we find over here? Give me something besides a Bidoof. Okay, so this is randomized, actually. Because there's a Soul Rock here. You don't find a Soul Rock here. And I hope it doesn't know any Rock-type moves right off the bat. Let's see what else is in this area. Because I don't want to fight Rock-types with a Fire-type Pokemon. I really don't. I really am not about that. 
Hello? What do you what do you know? Nuzlocke still hasn't started. I can play this game. What do you know? That does oh, that does almost have all you know is astonished. That does nothing. There's nothing. I'm a dark type. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is incredible. That's incredible. We found an, we can get an X spot in this route too. So I'm gonna go on ahead and kill it. The experience from this thing is about to be nuts. We're about to get hella experience from this from this X cloud. Oh my goodness. 78. That's a level. That's not a level. I lied. It was only level 3. So, Soul Rock. I don't know if Bidoof is just like static to be that first encounter. Oh, there you are! Please come with me. The professor's waiting. This is it, our Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go. Thud. What the? Oh, it's you, Crimson. That old guy, he's not so scary as much as he's just totally out there. Aw, oh, it doesn't matter, Crimson. I'm out of here. See you later. Where are you running off to, John? Wow, what was that? Your friend sure seems to be really impatient. Well, anyway, let's go inside. Alright, let's go see what the professor's up to. Well, well, look who's here. Crimson, was it? Let's have a look at your Pokemon. Well, well, you've made your Pokemon evolve already. We haven't, but just because it's not programmed as, like, Chimchar to, like, say, Monferno, it assumes that it evolved. Hmm. Trusting you with that Hondar was no mistake, it seems. Well, would you like to give it a nickname? Yes, we would. We have a male Houndour. It's not shiny. Normally, my shiny Houndours and Houndooms are Astro, but we will go with the safe Hades. We'll go with Hades for the Hellhound. Cerberus, we could do Cerberus, but it's not three heads. Hmm, okay, I see, and you're happy with that nickname? Yes, we are. When I first saw you two about to step out into the tall grass, without Pokemon, I was shocked. I was astounded by these foolhardy children. But now, you've astounded me in an entirely different way. Already there is a bond growing between you and that Pokemon. I feel privileged to have met you. I'm sure Houndour feels the same way about you. That's so why I'll ask you to cherish that Houndour of yours. Absolutely, absolutely, homie. I'm so glad that you're kind toward Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to... Oh, I just can't say it! Tell me tell me more, Professor. <laughs> Let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. Allow me to properly introduce myself first. My name, as you know, is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. That is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? I got you, bro. I got you. We're good. Hmm. Good answer. And now we got the Pokedex. And now we live in. We live in. That Pokedex is a high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Crimson, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got one, too! When you walked up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go! Crimson, your grand adventure begins now. The Pokemon that I met for the first time was a Chimchar. If you would have chosen a Chimchar on Route 201, we'd have the same Pokemon now. Not that it matters, but... Anyway, I'm Dawn. I also hope the Professor add pages to the Pokedex. So, in a sense, I'm just like you. I got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Crimson. And uh, apparently these are Don's parents over here. Uh, yeah. I'm Don's father. I'll be happy to assist you on your quest for the professor. Yeah, I'm sure we can count on you. Professor Rowan invited a new invented a new Pokedex while working alongside a professor from the Kanto region. Oh, my name is Roseanne. It's an honor to be assistant to our professor. So that's her dad, but that's not her mom? Is my understanding of that? I Crimson! Oh, it was Rowan. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have something good here. You should take this as well. And we got TM27, which is return, I believe, unless it hasn't been randomized. That is a technical machine. That one contains the move return. Using a technical machine, or TM for short, teaches the move instantly to a Pokemon. Bear in mind, however, that a TM is a single use only. The move return gains power the more friendly your Pokemon is with you. It's up to you, of course, if you want to use that TM or not. I'll send you off with that wish that your journey will be fun. 
Oh, wow. I didn't know the professor had TMs. Was he a trainer when he was young? Okay, Crimson, I'll act as your mentor. I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and the professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. It's a place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon Center in most towns. The building with the blue roof over here is the Pokemon. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items of medicine. Crimson, since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let it bother you. So as you get more badges in Gen 4, you are able to buy more um, better items like Great Balls, Ultra Balls, Super Potions, all that stuff. Oh, that's right, Crimson. Don't you need to let your family know you're going to be helping Fress Roan with the Pokedex? You may need to go far away, so I think you should let someone know. Oh, but before you go, heal up your Pokemon in the Pokemon Center. It'll be a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye now! Alright, so we're going to go heal up. And then we are going to go talk to Mom. We still have not gotten any Pokeballs. So that is uh, good news for us, just in case we run into something crazy. I don't think um, I don't think Hades is at too low of health, but I do want to check out and see what type of what type of nature Hades is. I do want to check it out. Hopefully, hopefully we got something good. Hopefully we got something good. Let me check here. Hades, what are you? What are you? A quirky nature. I feel like that's neutral. I feel like that's a neutral nature. I don't know. I could be wrong. I'll check. I'll check it after the uh, after this, just so I know. But I believe that's a neutral nature. Hopefully, it's just not special attack uh, reducing. But now we can run back to dear old mama, dear old mama Seabed, dear old mama Crimson, and be like, "Mom, ma'am, I got your Pokemon. I got me a Pokermans." So we can run back here. Go talk to Mama. Let her know we're never going to see her again. She's not going to save our money like she did in uh, when we lived in Johto. Definitely, that's for sure. Welcome home, Crimson. Are your, you and your Pokemon healthy? I just made dinner. Take a quick rest, dear. I just... Mom, I just... Okay. What is it, Crimson? Ellipses. Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big. Okay, dear. Go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know, Crimson. I've got something that you'll find useful. Oh, the journal! That's right, the journal was in Generation 4. I always forgot which generation that was in. That's a journal. It keeps a record of your daily events. Check it and you'll be able to remember what you did last. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking, dear. Yup, Crimson. I'll be alright by myself, so you go and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experience new sensations, it makes your mother happy, too. But come back sometimes. I'd like to see the kinds of Pokemon you've caught, dear. Is that John's mom? Excuse me? Is my little John here? Oh, no, he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure, then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless, I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry. Crimson will deliver that to him. Won't you, Crimson? Oh, really? You do that for me? Crimson, please take this to John for me. Okay, so now we got it. Now we're an errand boy for John's mom. Bye bye, Crimson. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he'd probably head straight to Jubilife City. Okay, please take that to my John. We'll do, John's mom. We'll do. We will go and do that. And now we are going to head up here. And we are going to go get. Uh, let's see. Let's just see what else is over in 201. Let's go see. Cricketots. There's like Krikatot, Soul Rocks, and Xbox. So we can either get some really basic Pokemon, or we can get some just really, really, really good Pokemon, like an Xbox. Soul Rock, Soul Rock. Soul Rock's like the equivalent of Onyx to me. Like it it does, it does, it does okay. It does okay in my book. It does okay. So I know to run up here. And I believe Don shows us how to catch a Pokemon. If I'm not mistaken, and I think. I think we're about to hustle her for some Pokeballs as well. Oh, that's right! Crimson, I even shown you how to catch a Pokemon! I'll demonstrate how to catch one, so just watch me, okay? So Don's gonna teach us, teach, run us through the ropes of how to catch a Pokemon, and she's gonna catch a Bidoof. She, homegirl's about to catch a Bidoof, okay. In my first encounter is a Bidoof, um, somebody's catching hands. I'll tell you what, if I catch a Bidoof, someone's catching hands, so... We are just... Don, catch it. Don, literally throw a Pokeball at it. You don't even have to damage it. It's a level 2 video. 
like, sweetheart, please. Just, sweetie, come on. Just, okay, its HP is down. It's ready for a Pokeball. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you. So, now she's going to catch it. Finally. Oh, my gosh. Don, John, just press. Press the button, Don. Press the button. Press the button, Don. That's all you have to do. Does she catch it? Does she catch it? Does she catch it? Does she catch it? She does catch it. Look at Don go. Look at Don go. Look at Don go. What a what a what a Pokemon master she is. What an absolute peach she is. Catching that Bidoof, showing us how to do it, because we don't know how to catch Pokemon ourselves. <laughs> See, isn't it neat? Actually, it's better to lower your target's HP more than I did. It's important to get the Pokemon's HP down as low as possible. This is because a healthy Pokemon is very difficult to catch. Oh, Pokemon also get easier to catch if you make them sleep or something by using a Pokemon's move. Okay, Crimson, to get you started, I'll give you five Pokeballs. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, the Nuzlocke has officially started, so now any deaths are permanently dead. Uh, we only we only catch the first encounter of every round. You guys know how it goes. I explained it. It's in the description. If you have lots of Pokemon with you, it'll be safer on long trips. Plus, it'll be a lot more fun having your Pokemon friends along. Okay, I need to get going. Bye now. So, uh, if the, we would have had an encounter in that second patch of grass, that would have been bad. So, we're going to go up in here. Um, I don't think I need to heal, do I? Do I need to heal? I do not. Hate is at full health. So, I am going to end episode off, one off right here, guys. Really quick, just talking about an upload schedule. This will be every Monday, Wednesday, Friday series coming up on the channel so i hope you guys are looking forward to that like i said make sure that you guys there's a question of the day box over here up here boop oh my finger disappeared it is up there make sure you answer it today's question of the day is did we get the starter you voted for if you didn't vote for the starter which one would you have voted for let me know in the comment section below guys because i'm really i really enjoy interacting you guys with that and if you have enjoyed please be sure to smash that like button show some love on that like button enter pokemon move here on the like button whatever you guys however you guys prefer to activate that like button make sure you do so as always if you guys are new to the city feel free to hit that subscribe button as well so you don't miss out on more of the pokemon platinum randomizer nuzlocke all that being said my name's crimson seabed and i'll see you guys later bye go for the willows we connect that willow list we're gonna be able to get that residual 12 percent off on the slow king as well I don't see Ranks from Yastic on Project Kabu's apps. Physically attacking quick attack by Ryan. He leads off his own road. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, I am free actually to just. We can't go for an EQ here. Um, I can go for a taunt. Because I don't think he's going to go for anything. 